What's up guys, it's Crash, and this is a video that I thought I would never be making. Not this week, not this month, not this year, not, not ever. We're talking about the World War III game, and it's just the game that will not finally die and go offline. When you have other games that are unplugging servers with far more players, to see a game with this few of players still continuing to keep going is kind of crazy. And we're gonna talk about some really interesting stuff and some change of ownership with the game. And it sounds like it's getting revamped again. This has more lives than a cat. It's gonna be coming back for like the 15th time. If you guys don't know, World War III on the surface has ge generated a ton of hype because if you look at the trailers, it looks like the game that tons of us have wanted. It, it, it's like an immersive kind of more hardcore, but a little bit more tactical than other games. It's like a fine kind of mix of both of a battlefield type game, large destruction, large maps, big battles with vehicles. And to me, the base of the game has always been really well, out, really good outside of the audio, I will say, but it has some of my, like my favorite systems when it comes to soldier and weapon customizations. I think that's a tier, uh, like the setting and everything of it is awesome. And it had chances to do well, right? It's had two really big chances to come out as a Battlefield competitor. We were talking about this game, man, way back in the day when Battlefield 5 was dropping and it didn't meet expectations. Everyone was like, World War 3 is gonna save us. And then it just had server problems and issues and could never get any more new content. And it just mainly constant netcode and server issues kept people from being able to play the game and eventually essentially killed the game. And then it came, we rolled back around to DICE taking another stab at Battlefield with Battlefield 2042. And the same exact narrative happened. At that time, World War III was gonna come out as free to play. So they were gonna get another influx of new players and it was going to be the battlefield killer 2042 did not meet expectations that's even ea's words not just mine it didn't meet mine for sure but it, it was going to be the next battlefield killer it was going to take the place of battlefield 2042 it was going to stand in for battlefield yet again and again failed in the exact same way and then for for years for several years it went free to play got another little influx of players and guess what Players are met with the same issues over again, as well as just not enough people playing it because of the bad taste that it left in its mouth the first three strikes that the game was given, essentially. And so you have this game that's just been kind of sitting there and teetering, and all that have been come all that's been coming out from the game from the Twitter account has just been we're doing maintenance, we're doing maintenance, we're doing maintenance. That's it. Nothing. It has been dead silent. Well, then last year the game got sold to a new development company, and we didn't know what was going to happen because the tweets kept coming with we're working on the servers we're updating it's just maintenance it's just maintenance and that's all we heard and we didn't know what was going on until today there is a little bit of life left in this game i guess again guys i cannot tell you how reserved i am for my hype on this and how cautious heavy on the cautiously optimistic we are incredibly cautious as cautious as it gets about what we're about to see because of the failures that this game has had so so many times but it just has those things that many many people want right we have like an arcadey feel. It's going to be very tactical. It has really good weapon customizations, some really cool grounded skins, as well as I love the soldier customization because you can customize your gloves, boots, pants, vest, hat, everything differently to give your character its own unique look. You have all this stuff that, that we want to see as well as, you know, large scale combat in gritty cities, battlefield war torn cities, like big, like urban dilapidated battlefields that we want to see in video games like gritty gritty setting all that stuff well there was a tweet 11 minutes ago as of recording this video from world war 3 and it says we'll be doing extensive testing this week the play test will take place on the 6th of september join us at that time and get a prize more info on steam which we're going to take a look at we're waiting for you and i think it's kind of a bold statement it made me laugh to say we're waiting for you it's like who's waiting for who it's been it's been how long world war 3 Who's, who's waiting for who, but with the game changing hands and the developers, you know, changing codes and restarting to test the game and check it out, there is a chance, albeit in my opinion, a low chance that this game could make one of the craziest comebacks. I would call it a resurrection from the dead of all time. So let's go over and pop over to Steam. There's some more information on there and I want to check it out with you guys. So here we are over on Steam and it's talking about the PTE playtest on the 6th of September. It says the last eight months have been a long and has been long and arduous for us 
taking over a big game as World War III was not an easy task. As promised at the beginning of the year, we prioritized the overhaul of our matchmaking system, optimization of the game, server and client side. However, this is an iterative process. The changes we made are just the first batch with much more in the works. So I already am understanding that we need to pump the brakes, that this is gonna take a long time, but it's still just crazy. It's crazy to actually even be talking about this game. Um, they're pleased to announce that the entire project infrastructure, including code, asset, licenses, and everything, has been transferred from the old developers, Farm 51 Studio, to the new development team. The game is huge and complex, as you can probably imagine. It has a lot of gadgets, it has field call-ins, there's a lot of stuff to this game. And it took us a long time to learn how it works and overcome the challenges that we encountered. Uh, during this process, they've begun to improve the overall performance of the game. Although this may not seem significant from our perspective, we recognize it as a cornerstone in our new role as developers of the game. So it sounds like they're using this test as they've made some iterative changes they're getting a handle on the code and how the game was built and they're going to move forward from here this is kind of going to be the base but it sounds like they're going to do an extensive test this week uh will take place 6th of september on the the 1700 to 2000 hour of cst join us at that time your feedback will help shape the future of the project if you do you get this cool weapon skin and, and guys like this is exactly what i'm talking about man how sick does this look it looks awesome like like the guns look amazing and dang it, man. Like I just, <laughs> so many of us have wanted the game to work. I had a couple of members of my discord say that the PTE automatically installed, but this is how you can check it out. Uh, the World War III PTE, click the play button, install it, um, and do, do all that stuff like you would over on there. Um, and it sounds like it's gonna be going live, but again, you guys can see the customization is awesome. It doesn't look like they did anything here, but after the play test, fill out the survey. So this will be interesting and definitely something that I'm gonna do. I would like to fill out the survey because um, I wanna let these people know what the game needs. And you know, that kind of leads me to say, what the game needs has not been a secret. It's not been a secret at all. We want it, from the gameplay perspective, it needs audio. The audio got kind of fixed one time. It's still really rough. You have pretty good visuals with really, really, really bad audio. The weapon sounds, the footstep sounds, all that stuff needs completely overhaul that's no easy task and then it needs content um i know uh from blue blue the robot uh, fellow podcast host um and and he often covered this game in its infancy as well uh, he was the foremost you know content creator for world war three he said they've actually played some games with like an hvt mode that was kind of like like a search and destroy type mode so i'm telling you man if you took this game the base is there in the base needs tweaked the base needs updated remodeled and then you could build on this game and it wouldn't be horrible in my opinion but they're on the right track because optimization net code right they're working on net code that is huge that's the very first thing that has to be solid that's been the achilles heel for this game for the last seven years you know uh quite a while and then if you talk about fixing that then it needs um audio like i said and then it needs content and it would be really cool if you're if you're saying hey crash what would you love to see with this i would love to see the battlefield type mode and i would really love to see a round based uh with the tactic like the, there's like team killing in this there's like tactical leaning and movement in this i'd be really cool to see like a hvt or a, or a bomb type diffuse mode i love bomb modes that's what i would love to see in this as well and then you could even go shoot for the stars, dream really big, an extraction shooter would be sick um, set in this too on the different maps and stuff like that. But if they could really nail down that all out warfare, I know they kind of have a, a competition now in Delta Force, which is gonna be tough, but I don't think they have to go that route. I really do think this can be just a little bit more on the tactical hardcore grounded side, because remember, this doesn't have specialists. They bring back a server browser. You're talking about something that could be compared to like a battlefield 4 with with updated graphics and stuff like that so it's possible to be done um there is a very distinct roadmap that they need to follow again fix the net code fix the audio and start adding content and nail down that battlefield type you know battlefield 4 type gameplay and we're talking we're talking about something that could survive and maybe do some other stuff so with you would think with somebody else purchasing the rights to this thing to to develop it that they're at least going to try to do something with it right you wouldn't just buy it just to kill it so they're going to try to do something it's going to be interesting to check out what are you guys thoughts and how wild is it that i'm making a video talking about the world war three game that i've followed like since i've gotten into gaming it's crazy anyway guys thank you so much for checking out the channel i can't thank you enough for making it to the end that's incredible i love you all and hope to see you on the next one